Well, hey, you guys. Happy Monday. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Remember to protect your focus. Don't allow any negativity to distract you. And I know that's a lot, <laughs> you know, especially when there's a lot of distractions around. That's the goal to um, protect your thoughts, protect your focus, because what you focus on, that is what you manifest. So sure, there will be things sent in to distract you, but that gives you the opportunity to show how much you've grown and you've changed. And even if you get distracted slightly, make sure to bring back to attention the things that you truly want to manifest. Let me turn this light up. Turn the light up. Oh. oh we'll do it right there. Hold on, you guys. Give me one second. Okay, so let's see what card shall I use today? Oh, I think I'm gonna use some of these. <laughs> Just use a few different decks for you guys. Today, how's your day going, my loves? Let me use some of these, some of these, all right. Long year, it's okay to, oh, what is it? It's okay to let go of. Um, holding on too tight to even your masculine. And the reason why I say that is because at this time, it's better to let go and allow than to hold on and like pull. You get what I'm saying? Because holding on, you're like, it's like a tug of war. The energy is getting transferred back and forth. When you let go and just allow and surrender to spirit, that's when you start to attract the things that are meant for you, including your person. This is a process and it's time to master the process and understand it from a higher point of view. That's why I'm grateful to be able to work with you guys because I'm also learning from you. You get what I'm saying? Um... Once you, once your gifts start to heighten, because some of you, your gifts could be definitely heightening at this time. Once your gifts begin to heighten, you'll notice how with each interaction, you become more intuitive. So even if you have a bad interaction, you still, now you know what that feels like, what that energy feels like, okay? So if that energy ever comes back around you, you'll automatically know. So just be mindful of the people that you have around. I know I say this all the time, but obviously I'm saying it for a reason. Don't allow anything to distract you from your main focus. This is why certain things are not manifesting. This is why you get frustrated when you realize, like I've been working on this, I've been healing, I've been loving myself, I've been doing everything right, but it's not manifesting. For one, divine timing is a must. That's why right now, with Mars in retrograde, um, it's time to just find that inner peace. Don't be at war with yourself. Because when you're at war with other people around you, it's because there's still some peace needing to be had within yourself. Now, it's a little trick when you ignore the distractions. Anything that's sent in to distract you, it brings you peace. Now, be mindful, those who have been sent to interrupt your peace and feels like it's okay to, you know, 
do you dirty even though you're a good person? Oh, trust me, karma is real. Whatever you send out to the universe will come back, so it's no need to worry about what other people are doing. Long as they're not physically touching you, long as they are not in your face, let people be. If you got um, newsy, narcissist neighbors and stuff like that, they were sent for a reason to try to distract you, to see how much you learn. Everything is not sent by spirit. Some things are sent by the darkness. You get what I'm saying? So you got to maintain balance between the light that's within you. Don't allow that darkness to overpower your light. You're too powerful that, for that. You're too strong. You're brave. You're courageous. You done made, overcame and made it through so much stuff that was sent to break you. And now you're at your breakthrough point. When you get to that breaking point, that's when you're almost at your breakthrough point. And then that's when it's time to take action. You'll get to a breaking point when it's time for you to move. When it's time for you to get up out of that comfortable spot. Do things that, you know, are uncomfortable, are new. When it's time to change, you will become uncomfortable. You get what I'm saying? What messages you have, spirit? A lot of these karmic relationships are ending. And when I say karmic, I don't just mean partnership. Mind you, we were all karmic to someone. Hold on, y'all. We were all karmic to someone at some point, but, you know, those of us who've chosen the divine and who has been chosen by the divine, and you know who I'm talking to, um, you guys have a special mission in particular. You get what I'm saying? So it's time to remain focused mm -hmm. so that you can bring in those things to um, fruition. Those of you who have been chosen, okay, you guys are about to reach your breakthrough. You have been through so much. You have dealt with many people that you may have even been nice to at one point a time, trying to go out of their way to hurt you, go out of their way to steal your peace, to upset you. Those people, oh yeah, karma is coming. So regardless, it's reaping season. This is harvest season. So those people who have done you wrong, it's no need to worry or get revenge because karma's coming. Especially if you're doing God's work. Let's go. What do we got going on, spirit? Remember, God is within you. God is not outside of you. God is within you. Don't look for God outside of you. If you look for him up in the sky, he may be there. But, but remember, it's because you're looking there. If you need to look for God, look straight within you. Take time to meditate. There were some things that have been taught that need to be unlearned. Okay? When it comes to spirituality, the real truth. Okay? I remove any negative energy from my mind, body, and soul, replace it with pure light and love. I cancel any curse, spell, or hex. I banish any evil being with evil intentions, and so it is. Here we go. Self-sabotage. Someone here self-sabotaging through temptation. You're allowing temptation to sabotage you. Remember those things I said that were sent in to distract you? Are you allowing that to sabotage what you have going on? The things that you worked so hard for? See, the thing about this, this time is, right? You've put in a lot of time and effort 
and to loving you, loving your person. You've done a lot to show your person who you are, but some some may have missed the main goal here. The main goal is to learn to love yourself. So if that person is not loving you right, regardless who it is, it's time to take back your power, take back control of your own life. Don't allow someone to spiritually manipulate you because even your person may have been spiritually manipulating you through astro, through um, masturbating, sexual, sexual magic and stuff like that to keep you theirs but you're already each other's y'all are already one you know for those of you who are on a journey and for those of you who who, who are um high level um soulmates y'all are already meant to be with each other okay so it's no point in um allowing not even your person energy to distract you from the main goal which is finding peace within yourself, becoming, finding harmony and balance within yourself, within the masculine and feminine that's within you, within the good and the bad, the light and the dark that's within you, becoming whole and complete and in full alignment. That's when you bring in your blessings. That's when you're, you know you're in what they call the vortex. When you have master that temptation will come things will come to try to distract you but it all depends on your inner strength on what you allow to happen don't self-sabotage divine feminine i understand that um You've been through a lot when it comes to this twin flame journey or, you know, whatever type of connection you're in. So for, for those of you who felt like or feel like I've been waiting so long and I'm impatient and I'm about to open a door for other people, that means it's, it's still more healing that needs to be done. Because if you've been in communication with your person all year and you had to separate for a second and you get to that space where you're like, well, I'm going to open the door for other guys. That's fine. That means you have some lessons to learn. You still have some healing to do. And when I say healing, remember, we heal each other through sex and everything. But the sex life is sacred. So you will there will be consequences if you know you're on a twin flame journey and you're still choosing your twin flame but still choosing to open the door for other people that's when you know karma comes like you know that you have a full mission but you choose otherwise you choose temptation see the thing is i'm not trying to scare you this is the thing when it comes to this journey, you have to make a choice and you have to be decisive. Sometimes you don't want to make a choice and that's perfectly fine. Sometimes you just want to play. Well, I've, you know, just wanted to send that warning. Like that's what it is. If you choose your twin flame but still want to play, it's consequences. Come with that. All right, we have have faith and soulmate. So for some of you, you may have called in your soulmate. For some of you, this is your soulmate. Um, this is someone you have a past life with. Um, somebody could have self-sabotaged this for a long time through temptation. And you had to hold on strong and have faith this whole time. And you guys were connected through spirit. But um, spirit is saying your faith is about to pay off the things that may have been sent to tempt you they're saying stay strong and be brave um say some positive affirmations do some meditation all of that when you feel like things are not going your way okay or feeling stagnant or stuck or you feeling like fed up and impatient do some positive affirmations it'll bring you back to that vibration that you need to be at to manifest. If your vibration is all over the place, then you just, you spirit don't know what to manifest. 
You know what I mean? They're going to manifest either everything or nothing. So that's why it's very important to try to keep a high vibration. This this mission, this ain't for the weak. This ain't for the faint of heart. This ain't for um, those who, you know, are easily tempted. You have to build strength, inner strength to get to this point. This is what your person has gotten to this point as well some of you divine feminists feel like your person is never going to change that's because you're not changing once you change and you lead the way energetically your person will follow up so ali send them the ooh. you have to um lead with love and light and heal yourself and heal the abandonment and the rejection Heal all those things that's been coming up that your person brought up. It wasn't to hurt you. It was to help you. This person didn't purposely do these things. These things came up so that you can heal them. And once you learn to heal them, you will mirror to your person what to heal and how to heal it. And then when it's time, which is coming up very shortly for, for the lots of you, when it's time for reunion, you will both be healed enough. Your person will be smitten over you. Your person had to go through what you went through, though. Your person had to feel it. Now, I don't wish karma on nobody, but that's just the way it goes. We had to face karma. We face karma. Everybody faces karma. What you put out comes back. So when you got, you know... Um, when your person went through all of those things and was self-sabotaging and, you know, falling into temptation, they had karmic soulmates that they were dealing with and all of that. Um, your person learned some tough lessons through that process. You couldn't teach that person those type of lessons because, you know, they had to deal with dark entities and dark energies so that they can learn not to swing that way no more. This person is coming in with love and light. This person has been healing. They're healing from victim consciousness. A lot of a lot of divines um, may not know it. It may you may just fall into it, like feeling like, why me? Why this happened to me? You know, like I'm a good person, so like just feeling like no, well, they did it to me, so, like, this happened to me, so, like, you feel comfortable to walk around an ego and stuff like that, no, that needs to be healed, like, you're not no victim, you're victorious, every time I feel like, damn, why this happened to me, I'd be like, you know what, because you a survivor, you're strong, you've survived it, though, you've overcome it, don't allow past emotions to keep coming up, or past Past events that happen to affect your emotions now. Because it's almost like you're reliving it energetically. That's what you're healing from. You're healing from rejection. Okay? Healing from rejecting people. Um, not choosing you. Not inviting you. Um, people you may have interacted with and said, Hey, you know, you want to be my friend? you want to be with me and them saying no oh i can't you're healing from rejection from your person you're healing from all of that and your person is needing to heal those those same energies that you had to heal after they put you through it so this is a lot for the both of you okay someone feels like someone is trying to be free someone is becoming free someone admires your freedom the way you've handled things, the way you've healed, you're very beautiful. Somebody views you as their soul family, their soul tribe, and they are manifesting you. They're trying to get you pregnant too, by the way. They're trying to get you pregnant. They want a family with you. They just feel like you're their family. This person has been healing a lot. They admire how you've healed and overcome all of these things that were sent your way. Hmm. Yeah. The 
girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enabled, needing to set boundaries. This person was dealing with a snake. This snake had many options. They were stringing them along. This was supposed to be a one-nighter, and this person ended up moving in with this person. But they had no clue who they were dealing with. Look, it was a karmic relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. This person is finally letting go of a karmic relationship that they may have been living with. They didn't know that this person was a snake. When this person was, wasn't was around them, like even when your person was at work or when they were at work or they were out with their friends, this person was moving single. This was like a, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but that energy was like everywhere. Like what happens at the homie crib stays at the homie crib. This is the type of person who had homies. Like, oh no, that's just a homie, but was smashing, smashing their homies. Like, I'm getting bisexual energy. This was a Jezebel spirit. This was a succubus energy who was sent into sabotage through temptation. Um, had this person sexually, um, this person fell victim, got lured in. And now they're needing to come out of that victim mentality of why me, why this had to happen. It was to build you up and make you stronger. Um, for some of you, you feel like, dad, this person, he chose another person over me. How can I ever forgive that? It's because we all make mistakes. It was things that you may have done in your past that you're looking back at and you're like hoping that you got forgiveness for that too. Let's see. Let me keep going. We got camera. Somebody got caught. But this is also talk about reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. This person wants to make new memories. This person has learned from that past mistake, meaning they learned the lesson, but they also saw, they also caught this person. This is not something that's ongoing any further. They needed to see for themselves, and now they finally see. They not only see, they feel it, all of that, and they, they're feeling like, they made a big mistake. They self sabotages. They're having faith that you you will not let them go. This person is astral traveling to you all the time now because they need to be around you. That shit is ended. That karmic relationship has ended. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. This person is free from a karmic relationship that they were living in. This person is a complete snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. The whole time you were dealing with this, you know, you had to deal with all these dark energies that was trying to mimic and latch on to your gifts, your energy. Um, these other karmics knew how to astral travel as well. But remember, you're safe and you're protected and their energy is blocked. But at one point, the masculine did not know who they were dealing with. And allow this person access to your energy some type of way by telling them who you were. Like if they if you liked a picture on their Instagram and the karmic said, well, who is this? And they're like, oh, that's just somebody I used to talk to. He feels like he just played it off. Like, oh, that's just somebody I used to talk to. But energetically, that karmic knew who you were because they're into tarot and shit like that. They just into it in a dark way. <laughs> so this these masculines didn't know or have no clue of what was really going on spiritually at one point yes these masculines are very highly intelligent and may knew a lot religiously may know the bible back and forth front to back but do you know the real spiritual aspect of what's really going on they had to find out the hard way we found out the hard way as divine feminines and then we woke up before them, and now they had to find out the hard way. But their learning process is has to be quicker than ours. Like they're gonna go through everything faster than how long it took us. Some of us it took us years to get this type of knowledge. Let me keep going. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, letting listening to ego. That's why this person ran from you. But this person is thinking back to those times that they ran from you and realize like, dang, 
I ran from the right one straight into the arms of the wrong one, straight into the arms of the enemy. Like they didn't feel worthy of you. They didn't feel not a, they ain't feel enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego um, issues, jealousy. Now this is what they're dealing with the same thing that they gave you, the same energy that they gave you. They had to deal with with these karmics, and now they're realizing. They need to go through a transformation. Your person has ended a karmic relationship, okay? This person is realizing that you are the catch. You are the jewel. They ran from the wrong person, and now they're ready to, like, pew, towards you. But first, they're needing to heal this ego. There needs to be an ego death, which is happening with this coffin. They learned some major harsh lessons with these karmics. Okay, karmics could be family, friends, jobs. Karmics is multiple things. They could have multiple karmics. But we're not claiming them karmics as theirs anymore or ours. It's just karmic people that this person interacted with. Regardless, they're coming out of that. Okay, they're realizing who's who. They see everything. They see people for who they are. This person has freed themselves from this karmic relationship. They are now running from that karmic. And that karmic is in a self-sabotage energy. This karmic world is falling upside down, crumbling. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child. This person truly loves you. Um, they see themselves being with you. They're in love with you. They want to communicate this to you. They may not have communicated to you. They've been feeling this for a long time. They're hoping and praying that, you know, you understand that this part of the journey while they're being silent is not because they don't want to be with you. It's because they are needing to heal their self. They need to heal the love within them. They need to, to put all that loving into themselves at this time. They're healing um, the rejection, the vic the victim mentality, like because they just went through something. I'm quite sure you went through a lot of major things too. And they're needing to heal from that. Or you need to heal from that. Or both of y'all need to heal from rejection and victim mentality. Feeling like, well, you did this to me. Energy. Um, so that you can call in this beautiful relationship that is wanting to blossom for you. Give me a couple messages for you. Yeah, this person is focused hard at work. Um, you It could be two different men in your energy, but this could be the same person, just in two different energy. This this person is well grounded. Um, this person is about their business. This person takes care of home. They make the effort to make sure their home is straight. Okay, this person also could be wanting to give you a gift. This person is just putting their time and focus in their work while they're healing themselves, while they're loving themselves. But this person is in love with you. And this person wants to express this. This person wants to apologize. They held this love back for so long due to self-sabotage, due to spending too much time at work. They, instead of them focusing on loving themselves and doing the work, when they started to get the red flags, they kind of just put all their energy into working. Now this person is in love. This person wants a new beginning with you. And the wheel is spinning for it to happen. There's a new beginning in love here for you, okay? For some of you, you may have two different lovers that, because um, some of you may have called in a soulmate. So for some of you, you have two different lovers to choose from. For some of you, um, this could talk about you and your person. For some of you, there's about to be a great fortune that's about to happen for you. Like the will of karma is on your side. You've already learned your lessons. And you've paid your karmic debt off, okay? And now it's time to clear that energy. Free yourself from the past curses, spells, and hex that was placed upon your family. You are now breaking those. You're breaking generational curses, and you're about to get rewarded for it. Because you've held on and stayed strong. So like I said before, if you are poor, you're about to become rich. If you are middle class, you're about to be up off something. Like, things are about to change for you drastically. If you lived in an apartment your whole life, you're about to have a mansion. You're about to experience drastic change. And the will is spinning in the upright for you and your person. 
Look, justice is being served. This person wants to explain and tell you all the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help you, God. Let me give you one of these real quick. This person is about to open up about some truth. Um, you learned your lesson, and now you get rewarded. You got karmic rewards coming to you. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same as if we'll be at the same place in the world. So this person is ready to travel towards you. Um, this person is trying to come towards you or uh, whatever. This person just looks for you everywhere. This person is manifesting you. Um, you may end up picking this person up from the airport or they hopping on a plane and coming towards you. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So they're watching you, stalking you, because they're in love with you. And now they're about to express it to you. They want to kiss you. They have unconditional love for you. They like you. They want to date you. They're in love with you. They're focusing on themselves right now, but they're about to chase. My heart always come back to you, even when I don't want it to. Now that they recognize who you are, they're about to just go through the same thing that you had to go through. And that's just how it got to go. And they got to let their ego go and allow this process to happen. Just like you had to let your ego go and allow this process to happen. Because I'm quite sure it's been many a time where you was in a situation where a guy wanted you to chase them. You like, <laughs> no, there's the door. But in this process, you had to drop your ego and you had to chase because that was a part of the lesson. Now you learn some big lessons. So be 